Hi, and welcome to Deep in the Bunker, where shit has hit the pan. So, we've all been here. Kids decide it's an absolutely fun idea to use an entire toilet roll to wipe their bottoms, throw it down the toilet. Unfortunately, I've got a macerator in the back. It doesn't just go down drains, it's got to get chewed up and then sent down a 15 mil pipe. What's that, three, three quarter inch, something like that. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this is not just the first thing that's happened here. Uh, this is in fact a long slew of events of stuff going wrong in this toilet. This is truly a cursed bathroom. So come with me and I'll show you exactly what's been happening over these past two weeks. So, one of the first things to go wrong was this. A little washer, just for my isolation valve. But it had become degraded. I mean, um, it wasn't much, but it was enough. Where this baby was leaking about uh, a drip every five seconds, which is quite significant. So, luckily enough, I had spares, which is great, and I was able to put a new one in. Bit of PTFE tape around there, tighten it up. Good as new. On to the next. Yeah, always important to clean as you go. Um, but that does bring me back to my next job, which was, of course, the toilet seat. And why? Because kids decide it's a really good idea to hold on to the heated towel rail just here, okay, while brushing their teeth, and guess what happens? It comes down, smashes the toilet. So, that's the next job. Let's go fix it. Which brings us nicely on to job number three, and hopefully the last one this week. What's happened here, my shower developed a leak. So as you can see, the uh, on and off valve decided it was degraded, it didn't want to play ball, so it's time to get some tools out and show us who's boss. Yeah, fairly simple up to that point, but then we needed to get the big tools out, uh, deep drive socket set, so in there, um, I took off this, took out the valve, and found that once again the little washer inside was degraded. I'm still dripping. Um, so, ordered a brand new one because these are very hard to come by. Um, as you can see, the, the, the length of the valve shaft is that long. It's ridiculously long. So in there, extract the old one, put a new one in, make sure it's fully tight, back on with the plates. Uh, that took a couple of days too, just because the ordering process, but it was done. And I'm showing you all this because in SHTF, I always disagree with programs like The Walking Dead, where they show they live in the little hilltop, and um, it, it's, it's freshly painted. It's, it's crazy. In SHTF, you are not going to have things just stay good for 10, 12, 15 years, how long that program runs. Things will break down, things like this, things that you cannot replace. Sometimes it's the washer if you're lucky, sometimes the entire valve is um, snapped or it's just the plastic has rotted away over time. It does happen. You can get a little bit of grit in there, etc. But enough of the rum ramblings. What I'm actually trying to say is improve your skills for SHTF. Become familiar with your, your bug out location, it's um, how it works, the plumbing, the electricity, etc. If you're lucky enough to have it, or your home, if you're bugging in, make sure you are fully au fait with how to repair, replace, or isolate if necessary and go to backup means. But in the meantime, this is Deep in the Bunker saying take care, stay safe, stay sane, and do not let your shit hit the pan. <laughs>